Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video we're going to take a look at how to add a system image to an edge router. Alright guys, so last week I released a video on how to deal with and resolve the issue of a failed firmware upgrade on an edge router. I'll put the link to that video up above. As a result of that video, user Pablo asked, can you do a video on how to install a firmware backup image after you deleted it? So yes, Pablo, I can. Let's get started with that process. All right, guys, so I'm currently signed into an Edge Router X SFP, and that's another router that I also use in a lab setup. I've also signed in via SSH. And I want to show you that there's only one image, the current image, running on this router. So we're going to say show system image. And you can see here that it's only version 1.10.5. And it's the running default image. So, Pablo, what we're going to do now is we're going to add back a backup image to this router per your request. So one of the first things we have to do is go out and get the image URL from the UBNT website. So if you come to UBNT.com, click on the downloads link, and I'm already there. Select your family, which is the Edge Max, and we're going to come over to the Edge Router X SFP in this case. And you can see here it's only showing the current firmware, but if we click on see past firmware, we could select a bunch of different past firmware. So in a hypothetical situation, I'm going to make believe that version 1.10.3 was my backup that I want to put back on the router. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the download arrow. And from this screen here, I'm just going to copy the image URL. And then I can close out of the UBNT website. We're going to go back into the edge router and we're still signed in via SSH and we're going to just use the command add system image and then we're going to paste in the image URL and hit return or enter. And now the uh, system is being, the image is being added to the system. Now this takes a few minutes, so I'm just going to fast forward and stop the video and come back when the, the image has been added successfully. Okay, so we're back and the process has completed. That whole process took about three minutes to complete. So let's take a look and see what we have. So we're going to use the show system image command once again. And you can see here, now we have the two images, but if you take a look, it took version 1.10.3, which was supposed to be my backup image, and set it as the default image. Now the running image is still version 1.10.5. This, this change won't take effect until after a reboot. But remember, we want version 1.10.3 to be the backup image in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap the default image. And we're going to use the following command, set system image default boot. And then it says a reboot is needed to boot the default image. Are you sure you want to switch images? And I'm going to say yes. And it says switch from version 1.10.3 to version 1.10.5. So if I do a reboot now, I'll get disconnected. All right, so let's get a ping going so we know when the router is back. Eventually, we should get a response from the router when it comes back up online. And there we go, guys. Okay. So now, let's SSH back into the router. And let's show system image. And now you can see we have version 1.10.5 as the running image, and it's the default boot image, and there is version 1.10.3 added back as the backup image. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. Pablo, I hope this answers your inquiry, and if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you guys for watching. See you next time.